To manage multiple NADEN instances, which I do, you can use this utility workflow to be able to copy between two NADEN instances using the NADEN API, and I'll walk you through it. Okay, the first thing you'll need to do is grab the NADEN API keys for the two instances you are copying to and from. The way you do that is go to your settings down here in the left corner, click on the NADEN API and use this API key. And I'm not gonna go in and create that process, but you can see here that this is where you create the API key. If you already have one and you don't remember it, you'd wanna go ahead and delete that and then create a new API key so you can use that. So you need the API key from the source as well as the destination NADEN instance. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I needed a way to be able to copy multiple workflows from one place to another or one NADEN instance to another. And so before you can just copy and paste the nodes, for example, I can copy this entire set of nodes and bring that over into the new destination instance. But if you have tens or hundreds of workflows, which I did, I literally had over 100 uh, 50 workflows that I needed to migrate over from one place to another. It just wasn't going to be time effective to be able to do that. So what I did was, as you saw, we got the API, API keys from the source NADEN instance, and then we have the API keys for the destination NADEN instance. So these two red boxes, you'd want to go in and change out the credentials. And for the source, I'm going to grab everything that's there right this is where the return all is basically grab all workflows within that but for the destination i'm just going to limit that to 200 for the time being so what happens is we grab the workflows we split out the workflows from both the desk source and the destination and then when we merge them we check for duplicate names so you can see here i'm running it in sql query mode and able to select the incoming data and basically filter out any duplicates that are there. So a little bit different. I'm not sure if you guys have seen this method. Usually we're either combining or appending, but in this case, I decided to go with a SQL query to make it a little bit more effective in filtering out. I do have a code node here that I was playing around with, but I left that there. If you want to use it, you can. Otherwise, what this will do is basically any workflow that doesn't exist at, in the destination from the source and it's checking the workflow names it will go through the loop and start copying so create the workflow in the destination i'm also using the enterprise version of NADEN, so i have the ability to have these projects so i'm going to grab the projects and so i have to create a custom http request to the projects API endpoint and split out the project. Similarly, what I did with the workflows and then filter the, for the project that I'm looking to add these duplicated workflows to, all right? So I, I set the project ID and then basically do another HTTP request to put those project or those workflows into that project name, right? So you can see here, I'm doing a a transfer API call using the put method. And yeah, again, this is basically <laughs> the destination project ID. Very simple utility workflow, but very handy if you have multiple instances of NADEN that you are managing, which I did. And, and this was also for me to be able to consolidate some of the other instances into one single instance especially for some of the sm smaller instances i had i'm just kind of consolidating so handy little tool it's published on the nadn template section it's also under yeah so workflows number 3048 so look for just you know search for clone nadn and you'll be able to find this workflow All right let me know if you find this helpful and i will see you in the next one thank you